Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to set up PCSXR, so that is PCSX Reloaded for Mac and run PlayStation 1 game via emulation. It's actually really simple. So if you go to a web browser, you want to Google PCSXR Mac, it'll take you to this EMU Paradise link. I'll provide a link in the description, so don't worry about that. Click this download button, or we're going to download it. One last thing you want to do is download a BIOS file. So if you type in BS, BS1, PS1, BIOS, Planet, EMU. Again, I'll provide a link to this. And here, you can select a particular BIOS file. I recommend SCPH-1001. Click that. Then click this telecharge button, and it will download it right here. And now we're all good to go to actually set it up. So if I open up my download directory, and we want to unzip the PCSXR first, just move that to our applications. Or we got it there, I'll replace it again, doesn't really matter. And now we can actually run it. So if we go to two 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 PC SXR, open that. Open. We'll get this little you know error if this is the first time you're setting it up. Just saying it can't find the BIOS file. That's fine, we've already downloaded it. So click show folder, or you can manually you know navigate to this path. But if you click show folder, it's easier. Click that and open up the folder. So there is where we want to place the BIOS. And unzip this. You can just unzip it using the built-in you know, ex extracting tool. And now this bin file, just move it over here. You can rename it, but you'll automatically detect what it is. Oh, I don't want to open up Xcode. And now, sometimes I get this error. When I go to this sort of folder, it won't let me do anything with PCSXR. So I just have to quit it. Reopen it, and now it's launched. There's no like GUI side of it, and you can just change the preferences. So if we go to preferences, you can modify a few things. I'll show you memory cards first. By default, there's already memory cards, and they're in a memory card directory. You can change them, create new ones. By default, recommends leave them. In plugins, you can change the what graphics drivers it's going to be using. And you know, controller. And for the controller, if we click configure, we can actually change the device. So, if you have some sort of you know, gamepad connected, you can use that. You can use a keyboard. I'm just going to leave it as default because this is just a setup video. So, we just click OK and click X. Now, before we run a game, if we just click run BIOS, if we get the wonderful PlayStation boot up sound and we get the memory card menu. We know the BIOS file is correct and it's all working great. Go to File, Close, and now we can launch a game up. Go to File, Run ISO. I've already got Crash Bandicoot, and it's on my desktop. It's right here. If you have this problem where they're both grayed out, which with some games that it is, don't worry, it's an easy fix. Go to the folder, go to the bin for file, rename it. But what you want, basically want to do is change the extension to .iso. It will ask you, do you want to keep that bin or use that ISO? You want to use that ISO. Now, if we were to, you know, just reopen that. So go to run ISO. As you can see, if I just demonstrate, the dot ISO is not grayed out. And now we can open it up. And our game will launch. Yes, that wonderful sound. Uh, uh, uh. So I'm just going to quit out of it because you can play it, but that's it's as simple as that for setting P -S no, PC SXR up for your Mac to emulate PlayStation 1 games. That's it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.